Knock, knock. I'm coming in. Okay, so where's Ori Ronda or whatever this person's name is? I cannot pronounce this person's name. That looks absolutely dope. That looks so cool. These Sajiks are really dope, man. Okay, so coming through here. Okay, so I found the person. Oh, it's a female. Oriandra. Oh my god, look at this thing. Oh my god, that looks cool. <clears throat> you must be the adventurer that Valserin was going on about. I am. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our secret island. Oh, I suppose you already talked to the right master, seeing as you're here in Kapora Tower. Uh, maybe, maybe not. See, see as far as you know. Uh, the right master sent me to get an a amplification elixir for the ritual they're conducting. That strange pearl has certainly been reluctant to reveal its secrets. The right master hates it when an inanimate object refuses to cooperate. Regarding the amplification elixir, I just cataloged it. It's a Sotha seal creation, as you'd expect. Sotha seal is a member of the Sigic Order? Even though we already know the answer to this question. Hmm. What? No, not in the traditional sense. He's not one of our monks, if that's what you're asking. Oh, okay. More like an honorary member, I guess you'd say. According to my records, the silver vial should be right over there. Okay, thank you. I'll find it. As soon as the pearl arrived via Valserin's transference spell, the Rite Master gathered the conclave to prepare an augury ritual. He's been cycling sages through to keep them fresh, while slowly increasing the intensity of the ritual. Okay, so why aren't you helping with the ritual? I'm the Rite Master's acolyte. I have other duties to perform. Besides, such a complex ritual requires the power of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces. I'm not that strong yet. Under the Rite Master's tutelage, I expect to attain that rank. One day. Oh, that's... that's cool. Uh, how did an Imperial end up in the Sigic Order? Despite opinions to the contrary, being an Altmer isn't a prerequisite for membership in the Sigic Order. The Rite Master noticed my potential and invited me to join. I had a year to consider the offer, but I made my decision immediately. So does that mean any body can be a Sigic as long as they meet the requirements? Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm not sure I understand uh, where we are. How did the Sigics uh, did the Sigics hide Arteum? Man, I can't read right now. I'm not allowed to reveal where you are or how our magic works, other than to tell you that you have arrived upon the fabled island of the Sigic Order, Arteum. While we're not currently part of Nern's reality, we still keep track of events there. But I. I I just, maybe it's just me, but I, my brain cannot comprehend how they are outside of the realm of Nern. You know, it just, it, it just doesn't, com I can't compute it. Uh, maybe some of you lower buffs can let me know down in the comment section, but I have no, I just can't wrap my brain around it, you know? Uh, how did you manage to keep track of events on Nern from wherever this is? I could say we have our ways and leave it at that. But you deserve a better explanation. The Rite Master sends Sigics back to the world to perform tasks and gather information. Plus, we have powerful scrying magic that reveals all sorts of details. Okay. Well, I mean, thank you and everything, but I better find the elixir uh, the Rite Master requested. I was examining the vial of amplification elixir myself just a short time ago. It should be right over there. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. You have a good day. So where's right over there? Oh, I found it. There it is. Amplification elixir. <clears throat> Back to the right master, I suppose we go. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. Well, I mean, I guess I kind of knew, but I didn't know as a fact that anybody can essentially become. Because all of these people are Altimers, right? Yeah, they're all high elves. Friend of Valseren, I have a proposal for you. Even even the Sigic from Skyrim, I can't remember his name. Uh, but when you do the, the Mage's Guild questline, you come across this Altimer, Sigic. So, I, I was just always under the impression that they were all, you know, Altimers, but... Was Oriandra able to direct you to the proper elixir? Without something to amplify the magic, our ritual is going to fail. 
Well, yeah, I did actually, and here's the amplification elixir that you requested. Just in time. For the next stage of the ritual, if you have no objections, I'd like you to join us. Your experiences alongside Valserin might help reveal what has so far eluded our efforts. Yeah, of course. Uh, how can I help the ritual? We'll handle the magic. You pour the elixir into the scrying pool and stand close. As the ritual's power amplifies, your experiences with the Pearl and the False Aldark should help the augury do its job. Okay, and what is the augury's job exactly? We want to discover the origin of the Pearl and its strange magic. In addition, anything we can learn about the False Aldark and his connection to the Pearl would be helpful. Otherwise, we're stepping blindly into Oblivion's maw here. Alright, just tell me what I need to do. Pour the elixir <laughs> into the pool. That should provide the final boost we need to trigger the augury. Okay. Amplification elixir use. Now he says stand close. That's Here as close as I can get. The most favored servants of Clavicus Vile, Nefala, and Nocturnal. On the verge of the greatest victory for our princes. Are you sure those creatures can be trusted? Have no fear. Isn't that why we formed the court of Bedlam? Besides, what happens next in Relinthil will seal Somerset's fate. That was cool. That was unnerving. It seems the false Aldark belonged to an alliance of Daedric cultists. The court, the court of, court Bedlam. of Bedlam. Imagine. The faithful of Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal working together. This is more serious than I anticipated. So is, so is that... Is that what the Court of Bedlam is? A collaboration of worshippers? Of Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal? That is that is actually pretty interesting in my, in my mind. Have you ever heard of the Court of Bedlam? No. But I'm hardly an expert on the Daedric cults of Tamriel. The magic I sensed in the Pearl, though, it doesn't contain the taint of Oblivion. We're missing something. But what? I suppose we'll need to find out what's going on in Relenthiel. I mean, I could travel to Relenthiel. I hoped you'd say that. Relenthiel sits to the west of Shimmerine, just across the mountains. I'll send Valserin with you to talk to the Cannon Reeve. The False Aldark may be dead, but Mafala's and Nocturnal's agents remain. As well as the pearls. I have a few questions before I head to Relentheal, though. I may not be a natural prognosticator, but I had a feeling you might. Go ahead. I'll answer what I can. Well, first things first. Do the Dejic Princess usually or always work together? From what I've experienced, an alliance isn't just unusual. It's contrary to their very nature. That's what I thought. Oh, they'll work together from time to time. But something as complex as what Sotha Seal hinted at is unheard of. Makes me interested to learn more. You and I both. What can you tell me about Relenthiel? Very little, I'm afraid. The last time I passed through that area was more than 350 years ago. They made an exquisite wine, as I recall. And the House of Reveries theater troupe always put on an entertaining show. Nice, nice. Did you learn anything more about uh, the Pearl? The augury ritual extracted a vision of the false Aldark and the court of Bedlam, but nothing specifically about the Pearl. Its magic isn't Daedric, though. How they can steal life energy and use it to summon those sea creatures remains a mystery. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna go ahead and travel to Red and Thil now, thank you. Which way do we go? This way? Oh, okay. Travel or portal to Arteum. So where are we going? We're actually staying on the island, it looks like. I hate I hate when you jump or you fall from a high place and you kind of stop and slow down a little bit. I mean, I guess it, it makes sense when you stop, right? Because you just fell from a large place. But the slowing down before you can pick it up into a sprint. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but it does to me, kind of. But it's really annoying, that little slowdown. Ooh, I've always liked those pets. I mean, the, those um mounts that look like that. Oh, I should have read where, where I'm traveling to. Oh, travel to Relentheal. Where am I going exactly? Let me see. Let's hit the trail. 
Oh, there. It's actually not that far, and I can't- I don't have anywhere to fast travel to that's closer here, but, I mean, that- it's kind of pointless. I kind of want to find that- Oh man. That, uh, way shrine that's on the way there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and stay on the road as much as possible, though. Where am I? So I gotta go this way. Kind of. It should be popping up on my little mini-map on the- or not on my mini-map, but on my- the little compass thing on the top. Here shortly, because we're almost to the way shrine. I definitely want to discover it, that's for sure. <clears throat> Where is it? Oh, there it is. I have found it! Is there a way up there? Right here. A sip of fine red. Not at the moment, sir. Thank you. I literally answered his question as I'm going as fast as I humanly possibly can yeah. away from him. Yeah. Travel to Relenthil. So yeah. we have to. It's somewhere in this little town. Ah, this one has been looking for. Trapped. Hey, it's Razumdar again. Which one could he possibly be? There's a lot of quests here. Where am I? Oh, I have to talk to Ra Razumdar. Hey, Razum. Raz's investigations have brought him to Relentil. When this one noticed your Sijic friend slip into town, Raz figured you'd be along soon. So, what did you discover on Arteam, the island that isn't here anymore? Ugh, that made Raz's head hurt. My friend, trust me when I'm telling you this, I've already explained this before, in this very same video. I cannot wrap my head around it either, alright? It makes no logical sense to me, but hey man, magic is magic I suppose. But anyways, we learned the false Aldark, Aldark, sure, why not, uh, belonged to a Daedric cult called the Court of Bedlam. Yes, this one has been exploring the Daedric connection as well, but Raz hates Daedra. In Raz's experience, very little good comes from dealing with Daedra or their cultists. And this revelation brings you to Relendil, yes? Kind of. Well, yes. Uh, other members of the cult mentioned that uh, something was going to happen in Relendil. That is disturbingly vague. Why must cryptic cultists be so... Cryptic. Because they're cryptic well, cultists. Well, <laughs> saw Valserin head toward Canon Reef Farmeldo's house. This one suggests we start our investigation of the area there. Right. That's where I was supposed to meet Val... Uh, Val... Her. Or him, or whatever it is. I swear, High Elf names or Ultimer names are so complicated. Whoa. Go inside and we'll discuss this later. And take off that ridiculous hood. Ridiculous? I'll show you what's ridiculous. I'll show you all! I think he's angry. You think as Canon Reeve I'd be immune to the troubles and temper of a spoiled and rebellious child? Nope. But what distinguished visitors I have today. A wandering sage, a well-dressed Khajiit, and you. What brings such a group to Relenthil? Uh, we're investigating reports of unusual occurrences here in Relenthil, actually. Investigating? For who? Well, there have been three reports <coughs> this week of someone disappearing. And my intractable son, Nadoril, and his malcontent friends have been cavorting around the large sinkhole that recently appeared. Do you think the missing people, the sinkhole, and your son's friends are related? What are you implying? They're just young and proud of their heritage. I wouldn't draw such a harsh conclusion without substantial evidence. I can't understand why they're fascinated with the sinkhole, but that doesn't make them criminals. Although I kind of agree, sometimes you have to have some sort of suspicion or have some logical comparisons or links or whatever before you can go out and obtain some evidence. You don't just find the evidence all the time and then start piecing in the puzzles. Sometimes you have to rely on your instinct and then act on your instinct to gather the evidence, you know? Uh, 
sometimes, not every time, I need to make that distinction because sometimes it can, it can create a bias in your own mind and you're going to be looking for false evidence, you know, but whatever, that's a whole, I'm getting into a whole different conversation. Moving on, any objection to us investigating the sinkhole? It's unusual for newcomers to encroach upon Altma affairs, especially since we rarely saw any prior to the Queen's decree. If you want to investigate, I won't try to stop you. And if anything happens, maybe it will teach my son to avoid the place. Okay, well, I'll let you know if we find anything to be concerned about. Raz wants to ask the Canon Reeve a few more questions. Take the Sijik and go investigate the sinkhole. I don't think he was uh, satisfied with the questions I've asked. It's okay, Raz. You go figure out what you need to figure out. I will go and investigate the Relendil sinkhole. Whoa. Dawnbreaker, open the way. Oh, come on. Stupid Daedric interference. I'll be back. I don't know what it is, what he is. He's wearing the, uh, what is it called? The, uh, Auroran Knight outfit or whatever. It appears to be the heavy armor, but I'm not entirely sure. Heavy, light, medium, they all kind of look the same or similar. But I'm pretty sure it's the Auroran Knight outfit that he's wearing. So I'm kind of pretty interested. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. And whatever it is he's got going on. It's pretty interesting, to say the least. Whatever it is, it's... Oh, crap. That was an accident. <laughs> oh, God, that was funny. It's time to let's start the investigations. Any minute now. There we go. Come on, Bastion. Oh! He attacked Eldon, and one of those horrible creatures tore off my hood. He attacked? Is that what she said? That young woman was certainly in a hurry. And what was that about an adorable and an attack? That's that's kind of what I heard too. I'm pretty sure he said that, or she said that he attacked them. She said that. Nedril attacks someone and something about creatures. Yeah, I heard the exact same thing. Yes, well, let's be on our guard then. I don't think this sinkhole is completely natural. Its size concerns me. If the ground continues to fall away, it could swallow all of Relinfield. Yeah, okay. Do you really think this sinkhole is that dangerous? It certainly feels dangerous. And if it does figure into the Court of Deadlands plans, well... I can't think of a more frightening event than watching Relinfield get swallowed by a sinkhole. Let's proceed and find out what's going on down here. Yeah, that definitely would be very scary to say the least, watching an entire location just fall into a sinkhole. That would be terrifying. <clears throat> Come on, Bastion. Ah! Haha! -ha. I hate getting CC'd, man. I hate being slowed down. Where am I going? Is it this way? The Let me look at my map. Yep. They don't look stable. I'll try to reinforce the weak spots and catch up with you. Okay. Ah! Hello. I'm just gonna kill everything just because I because I can. Where is everybody? Hello? Ha! It's these freaking creatures again, man. They're so... Scary. <gasps> Yagra? Yeah, they are called Yagras. Where is everyone? Someone there! Help! Please help! Eldon? I can never pronounce these... High elf names. Crazy bastard! You stabbed me. God, this hurts. 
Tell me what happened. It was just kind of fun. Joining the court of Bedlam. Espousing the virtues of our Ultima heritage. But Nadoral took things too far. What? Hold. Relax. Okay. One second. What do you mean he took things too far? When we heard that they planned to re release those creatures, I made the mistake of saying they were insane. Natural objected, called me unworthy. That's what he stabbed me. He's a lunatic, or as he said, insane. Uh, where's Endoril now? The court of Bedlam will eradicate the lesser races. Maybe even deal with our unworthy queen. I think that was him. I couldn't get his name, but I'm pretty sure that was him. I love this skill. I love that it's a colonial AoE, so everything essentially in front of me is getting hit. Over here. Oh, hi. Keep quiet and <coughs> tell me if you see what I see. Okay, okay. Okay. I think I see what you see. You see that, right? My eyes aren't playing tricks on me. That's a sea slowed. They haven't been seen in Somerset since... Well, it's been centuries at least. What is a sea slowed? It's like a sea toad. <laughs> a vile and dangerous species. Very powerful. The sea slowed come from the distant underwater kingdom of Ulvorkus. Who's that hooded figure with the slowed? And look, more of those abyssal pearls. They're everywhere. I don't know why, but every time I see the word or the name abyssal, I always think of abysmal for some reason. Uh, why are the sea slows dangerous? The slowed are a godless people. Perhaps the most hated in Tamriel. And the sea slowed are even worse. They employ depraved magic and have long coveted Somerset. They believe it once belonged to them. They pillage, release plagues. They're horrible. It sounds horrible. Uh, does this have something to do with the Court of Bedlam? The hooded figure could be a member of this so-called Court of Bedlam. At this point, nothing would surprise me. That slowed has me worried, though. I can't think of anything worse than an alliance between those foul beasts and Daedric cultists. Then let's go off them. <laughs> Could this be the source of the uh, abysmal abyss? See, I just did it again. Abyssal per uh, pearls? They could certainly have a connection to the sea slowed submerged kingdom, but they appear to have been placed down here. Look how the Yagra are drawn to them. <clears throat> I'll head for the sea slowed. You deal with those abyssal pearls. Okay, no worries. I'll destroy the abyssal pearls then. What? Sounds like a plan. Intruders in the cave. Heed me, my creatures! Destroy the intruders! Yes, come destroy me! Idiot. We need to get over there. Witness the Did she just call me an idiot? The Ooh, I want to see this. I didn't see nothing. She just like completely took off. Too easy. Wait for me. This way, we're almost there. Good. <laughs> I just stood there and let Bash and finish him. Destroy the pearls. We can't let those creatures reach the surface. The sea slowed and the hooded figure are gone. I'll cut it. Stabby stab. I really love this build. It's not the strongest. I've said this a million times, man. It's not the hardest hitting, but it's a ton of fun.
I didn't want to loot you, but okay, I'll this take way. it. Up here. Where the hell are you? One second. I don't know why I wanted to kill this salamander, but I, uh, whatever. All right. Pretty sure it's this way. I'll let you guys live. Damn. No sign of where the sea slow disappeared to. What is going on? Where's Bastion? Is Bastion fighting? Bastion's down there fighting. Damn it. I wasn't fast enough. You are pretty old. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so that's it? The sea slow escaped? For the time being. Let's see what's through that opening. All right, let's go. Bastion, are you here? The left us something to remember it by. We need to dispatch that creature. Dude, that's gonna be easy. Do I just jump down there? Ah, let's go. Whoop, oh, wrong button. Stabby stab. Done zo. I agree, Bastion. Underestimating me was definitely their last mistake. That was such an easy little boss fight. I wasn't even trying it. I actually messed up and pushed the, the wrong button twice. Hurry. Hey, Raz. What's up, Raz? Somehow Raz knew he'd find you here. How does he know everything? Are you gonna... Oh, how about say, are you gonna talk to me? The quest says talk to Razum Dar. But he was just standing there, just staring at me like a lunatic. Feast loads. This is worse than the right master imagined. Meet me in our town after you talk to the Queen's Eye. Will do. Did the pretty Sijik say sea slowed? No. Raz must have heard wrong. That could not have been what she said. That is what she said, my friend. Uh, the sea slowed Katora is working with the court of Bedlam, including the Canarive's son. Slowed? That's bad. And sea slowed? That sounds even worse. If the sea slowed threatens Somerset, Queen Irene must be informed. We need to act. Wait. What did you say about the Cannon Reeves' son? He's working with them. Nedril joined the court of Bedlam. He killed a fellow initiate and uh, was working with the Slode. Daedra worshippers. In Somerset. <coughs> and Slode. Oh, Roz likes this situation less and less. As for Nedoril, Roz knows how to deal with traitors. This one will meet you at the Cannon Reeves' house. Raz is pretty extreme when it comes to dealing with traitors. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what he does. Talk to the Canarif. That's not that far, is it? Right no, it's literally right that little town up ahead. Let's uh, avoid combat, so let's get away from that bat. A.K.A. Imp. For Narnia! Yeah. That hurt. Okay. Well, we're here. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. The Canarive is not going to be happy when he finds out his son not only joined the bed of the uh, court of the Bedlam, How but it's a murder. Accuse my son of treason. Fun fact, he is the treasonous. Eye. How dare he not identify himself when he first arrived? And how dare he accuse my foolish son of something as serious as treason? The queen shall hear of this, mark my words. I mean, feel free. It, it's the fact. Uh, Nedril's more than foolish, my friend. He killed a high elf, and is working with a sea slowed. Sea slowed? <laughs> Plus all this nonsense about Altma's superiority, and now murder. I am the Cannon Reaver Relenthil. I took an oath to serve and protect my community. How in the Queen's name am I supposed to reconcile my son's actions? To be fair, those are your son's actions, not yours. Uh, but that's not something I can help you with, my friend. Oh, Nadoril, what have you done? Please, 
You must talk to the Queen's eye. He needs to show mercy. I'm sure we can find a way to resolve this without... Oh, here comes Nadoril now. Oh crap, this is gonna be interesting. Your son has a lot to answer for, Canner Eve. <gasps> it's really him. But foolishness can be ignored. Murder and treason, not so much. You and your queen have no authority over a true Ultma, you mangy cat. This one cannot allow your crimes to stand unanswered. Nadoril! No! Oh. No! <laughs> I understand. Relanthil is loyal to the Queen. I knew he was extreme, but he... He just killed him! Sometimes the eye sees treason and must cut it out before it spreads. This one is sorry you had to witness that. <laughs> I like him a lot! He's so... He's so cool. Uh, couldn't you just have arrested, uh, Nedaril? I can't pronounce any of their names, I swear. Uh, instead of executing him on the spot especially? Blasphemy. Treason. Murder. How many crimes must one commit to attract the attention of the executioner's blade? Raz decided that a message had to be sent. Enemies of the Queen will not be tolerated. Look, okay, look, first of all, I agree. But everyone deserves their day in court, you know? Even if we already know what the answer is gonna be, they still deserve to be heard. Not just murdered on the spot. You can't be the judge, jury, and the executioner, Roz. I rarely see you this serious. Treason and the Queen's justice are serious business. Raz has been forced into this role on rare occasions. But he never seeks it out or looks forward to wielding the blade. A necessary part of my job, yes. Look, I agree, man. Execution was probably gonna happen regardless, but... I mean, you have to have the evidence and be able to present it forward, you know? That's... I don't agree with the way he handled it, but... I agree with the conclusion, if you will. Uh, is there anything else... Uh, you need for me right now? No. Raz will see to the Canon Reeve and send word to the Queen before looking deeper into the court of Bedlam. <coughs> you should return to Arteum and let the Sijiks know what we learn. I tell you, Five Claw, this whole situation makes Raz want to hiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend, goodbye. I like Raz so much. He's so crazy, dude. In a, in a semi-healthy way. I, again, I don't like what he did there. Or the way he handled it. Even though the conclusion was probably going to end with Nedaril being dead anyways. Uh, okay, so it's going to make me go back to the thing. Can't I just take the... I think I could just take the Way Shrine, right? Instead of having to take that one thing. The little portal. Let, let's go that way. I'm pretty sure I could. I mean, I've been there multiple times just using a way shrine because I could just go backwards, Ar Arteum. There we go. Easy enough. I'm drinking this coffee way too fast. I'm going to be jumping all over the place here shortly. <clears throat> Excuse me, coming through. Wait, who are we talking to? We're talking to the right master, okay. Mr. Right Master, where art thou? I really love the way my character looks, man. Hey, I'm pretty sure you were supposed to say something, but you didn't, so it's okay. Ah, friend of Valserin. I've been informed that you encountered a sea slode in a sinkhole beneath Relenthiel. That bodes ill for Somerset, perhaps all of Nern. I fear there are difficult days ahead. Yeah, the sea slowed, uh, uh, called itself Katora. I'm familiar with that particular sea slowed and its renegades. Call themselves the Abyssal Cabal. I thought I defeated them long ago, but it appears I was in error. What about the pearls? 
Valserin mentioned you encountered more in the sinkhole. So this guy has crossed staffs with Katora before. Interesting. Katora used the Abyssal Pearls to summon Yagra to attack Relenthil. Val described those seaborne monstrosities. I have a vague recollection of Katora utilizing such creatures in the past, but for some reason, the memories refuse to snap into focus. I suppose that's another mystery I'll need to look into. Why would the Daedric Prince require uh, the aid of the sea slodes? The Daedric <clears throat> Princes require minions to carry out their will, and the Slod have always had an interest in the green and pleasant island. It isn't hard to see why they might work together. For now, you have my thanks for assisting Valserin. Good. I asked the Conclave of the Eleven Forces to ponder how we can learn more from the Abyssal Pearl. With the additional information you provided, I expect that Iridel or Amalira will be able to develop a new avenue of investigation now. What more do you hope to learn from the Abyssal Pearls? The augury ritual revealed the connection to the Court of Bedlam and pointed to trouble in Relenthil. Now we need to determine where Katora and the Sea Slodes are hiding. The Abyssal Pearl should be able to point us in the right direction. How can I help? Meet me in the main gallery. We can consult with the rest of the Conclave and use the scrying pool to continue our probe of the Pearl. As much as this situation concerns me, I must admit, I somewhat enjoy being in the middle of the action again. <laughs> of course. It's exciting. It gets your adrenaline pumping. Although I'm not sure if they have the same anatomy as a human being, but... Or if you guys even experience adrenaline, but hey, whatever. That's neither here nor there. I'll meet you in the main gallery. Right, Master. The Abyssal Pearl. It's gone. <gasps> gone? How? I set the protections personally. Uh, inside job, perhaps? How could the Abyssal Pearl disappear like that? It makes no sense. When was the last time anyone saw the Abyssal Pearl? A few hours ago. We left it in the scrying pool in the main gallery while the members of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces went to deal with other matters of importance. When I returned, I immediately noticed that the Pearl was missing. Did the Right Master place protections on the Pearl? Yes, that's standard procedure when dealing with an unknown relic. But that just makes the Pearl's disappearance more troubling. Something about this feels wrong. Yeah, no, no, for real. Uh, what is the Conclave of the Elven Forces? <clears throat> the Conclave serves as the Order's ruling body. It takes its name from the Eleven Forces of Nature that we revere and follow as part of the Old Ways. The Conclave assists the Right Master with matters of study, policy, and significant research. We'll get to the bottom of this. Let's go check on the Right Master. Because that is great. How? I... It has See to be an inside job. Pool reveals. There's something happening on the beach. Ooh. It's the Yagra. They're invading Arteum. The Pearl. Somehow it was used to summon the Yagra. We need to defend the beach. Wait. Is that a sword? That would be mine. I'm on my way to help. Eventually. <laughs> the Golden Knight and his sword can wait. The Yagra are our primary concern. He said the Golden Knight. Are we gonna... Is he a part of this questline? Oh, I can't wait to find out more about him. The scrying pool <clears throat> revealed that Yagra have invaded our island. They must have somehow used the Abyssal Pearl to open a pathway. We need to get down to the beach and repel the invaders. Uh, why are the Yagra invaded the island? The Sea Slode have always been envious of Arteum and its secrets. From the beach, they can reach the ruins of the College of Sigix, where we store relics and other items of arcane significance. If the Sea Slode acquire any of those artifacts. Yeah, if the Yagra are attacking uh, by the beach, how did the Pearl get down there? That's a mystery we can solve after we deal with the immediate problem. We need to get down to the beach, destroy the Pearl, and close the Yagra's portal. Will you aid me in these endeavors? Of course I will, my friend. I'll help you destroy the pearl. I follow the right master. I'll portal myself and meet you there. Will do. I my word. The vision showed us the Dawnbreaker. I'm almost positive. The Dawnbreaker. Nice. 
I'm certain. I'm certain it's an it was an inside job. The divines were in a good mood when they made this place. Well, I agree there, Bastion. I agree. Southeast beach. Is there even a beach on this side? Oh wait, there's a house here. Oh yeah, the Grand Sigic Villa. I kind of want to discover this real quick. So let's discover this while we're here. It's just right here anyways. There we go. So that's discovered. Let's make our way up here if we can. <laughs> Let me accompany you. You need to rally the others. Your friend and I should be able to handle this. It has to be an inside job. I can't... I don't know how it would have been stolen from inside the Sigic. We can reach the beach through this section of the old college. I, I don't know. It has to be an inside job. If it's not, I'm going to be surprised. I can't think of any other possible way that it would have been taken. Unless it's like some magic, which is possible, I suppose. Oh my god. Hurry, the right master's so slow. Let me get there first. Talk to the right master. Hey, my friend. Before we charge into certain danger, you need to know something isn't right. No shit. I remember <laughs> defeating Katora, but somehow the creature and its cabal have returned. And the pearl. I have a vague memory of moving it myself. I am unsettled. Why? Why would you move the pearl and not tell anyone? That's just it. The vague memory. It feels as though it belongs to someone else. Forgive me. We can worry about that later. Now we need to find the Abyssal Pearl and cut off its connection to Arteum. Only then can we stop the flow of Yagra. Yeah, I can destroy the Pearl. Very good. After the Pearl is destroyed, we need to search the vaults and make sure none of the creatures breached the defenses. I tried to examine the area through the scrying pool, but something blocked my efforts. Are you ready to proceed? I'm ready, my friend. Let's go. After I get this water skin. <laughs> this is a great area for harvesting. Lorcan's tears. Okay, well. This is definitely an interesting location. Let's go destroy some Yagra. There's the pearl. Destroy it and close that portal. Where? Oh, I see it. Hey, it's not even that far. That was easy, dude. That was easy. That's all they got? Well, the vaults are probably going to be destroyed. Everyone must die. Shut up, Bastion. I guess there was a big guy. I really, dude, I really like the stabby stab with this. This way. Oh Hurry. my god, dude, a lot of these Sigics are dead. Let's go. I can't believe it. The Sigic Relic Vaults. So is there like a lot of... Relics here? These ancient vaults house relics of great power and unusual nature. I sense... Yes, Katora is here. Be on your guard, friend of Valserin. You think Katora's here? The Sea Sloat, or one of its agents. I have a strange feeling, so be on your guard. Is there a particular relic the Sea Slow seeks? I can think of a number of likely candidates, including a few relics we believe originated in the ancient Sea Slow kingdom of Ulverkus. Let's get to the central rotunda and begin our search there. Lead the way, my friend. Lead the way. I got your back, me and Bastion. We we got three mages here. Mafala's Daedra, they sealed the chamber. We'll need to go through them. Too easy. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, I'm I'm on the wrong bar for the barrier of webs. That is the follow so we can enter the rotunda. Oh, snap. What just happened? Another <gasps> Daedric intrusion? My apologies. Daedric interference and Arteum's own defenses delayed my arrival. Mephala's webs? Oh, I hate those things. That's Dawnbreaker. Me. Damn it. You found me again. I'll return when I can. A champion of Meridia? At least he was helpful. Dude, I can't wait to find out more about him. Well, well, well. I killed you. I remember our battle as clear as day. You remember exactly what I want you to remember. And thanks to the orbs of Brock and Drell, your deepest memories will be mine. Back one. This does not concern the likes of you. Out here, quickly. Is he dead? We need to hurry if we're going to help the right master. So we're just supposed to leave him there? I... Okay, what happened? It's a good thing I followed you after I alerted the rest of the Conclave. I think I can counteract Keturah's mind magic, but I'll need your help. Well... First of all, what's happening to the right master? Katura is using the power of the orbs of Barakandrel to enhance his mind magic and lock the right master in a mental grip. From what I can discern, the sea slot is flipping through his memories as you or I would turn the pages of a book. What are the orbs of Barakandrel? An ancient implement. Three matched orbs that our relic master believes originated in the Sea of Pearls. We long suspected they were connected to the Sea Slode. Keturah thinks the power of the relic will keep us from interfering. But I have an idea. What do you need me to do? Take this ward key. It will disable the protections on the repositories so you can locate the Ulvor staff and bring it to me. I can use the staff to breach the barrier and aid the right master. Just watch out for any lingering Yagra. Well do, I'll find the Olgvor staff. Man, this DLC has a lot of words this tiny little brain cannot pronounce. <laughs> Get out of here, Yagra. Well, I have no idea what happened there. I lagged really hard. Shut up. Dude, you guys suck. I did it too early. I'm out of magicka. Bastion, the one time that you would have been helpful by yelling at me about my magicka, we decide not to. I'm gonna kill him anyways. Haha. -ha. You. Let's kill homeboy first. Dude. I love this build. I don't know how many times I gotta say that, but. <clears throat> oh, I thought you died. I guess he didn't. Reveal your memories to me. Did he just say, thank Jesus? <laughs> well, whatever floats your boat, man, if that makes you happy. That's all that matters. Ooh. Ooh, I like the look of that safe. Relic repository. What did we get? Olvor, oh yeah, that's right. That's what we're here for, Olvor. Olvor staff. Do I go this way? How do I get over there? 
Yes, this way. Hello. You can't resist forever. He just got completely cut off. He didn't even get to finish the sentence. Thanks, Bethesda. Or Zenimax in this case. I really wanted to hear whatever it was he had to say. But he didn't finish the sentence. Sad, sad state of fear. Oh! Hey, we're back. We just went full circle. We're running out of time. Whatever the sea sloat searches for in the right master's mind, I believe it is close to finding it. Have you brought me the Ulvor staff? I found it. Excellent. <clears throat> and it appears to be in perfect condition. With the staff, I'm certain I can pierce the barrier and open a path to the mindscape where the right master struggles against Katora. So we're going to enter the right master's mind? Not we. You. Of course. I need to remain here to anchor you to the physical world. And you're going into Katora's mind. We'll use the connection between them to put you where you can actually hurt the sea slowed within its own mindscape. How can I hurt Katora in, in the mindscape? Katora's mindscape is the perfect place to hurt the sea slowed. It's where he's most vulnerable. In a place where thoughts become reality, you'll be able to stop Katora once and for all. Now touch the staff and go save the right master. I'll enter the mindscape then. That's a cool looking staff. Touch the oh. Ulvor staff and enter the mindscape. Will do. <laughs> what? This place looks so cool. You dare enter my domain? Yes. Can I find him? Oh. No, that's Bastion. These are all little mini bosses, it looks like. Bastion, you blew up on him. He's a bargain. The island for the heart of transparent law. Yes, yes, just as we agreed. But only a portion of the crystal. We don't want to alert the Sapiarchs too soon. Tell your fellow princes all will be well. The right master is no match for my mind magic. <laughs> So Nocturnal has assured me. Don't disappoint us, Katora. So that was the deal between him and Clavicus Vile. Attack, Bastion! Haha! -ha. We are victorious! Aha! Stabby stab. These guys are so screwed, they don't even know. Sit your butt down. Leave Bastion alone. I lured you here for one purpose, worm. Your abyssal cabal may defeat me, but you'll never stand against me. The entire Sigigord. Once again, you fail to grasp the obvious. When the time is right, you will do exactly as I command. Until then, forget. No. Is he? Is he winning? Did he win? Those things are not very strong, are they? Good job, Bastion. You gotta juke those little red circles. <gasps> Dissonance. It's a pretty dope name. Bam! 
Damn, dude, he's screwed. Repeat my words, worm. <coughs> Tell me what you must do. Ow. I will. Just hurt myself. Enter the crystal tower. I will take the heart of transparent law. Yes. Yes. Hide it away until I call for you to give it to me. Not even the princes must know where it is. Hide the heart. So my memory shields. You destroyed them. So that's how it got to the beach. He basically you used mind tricks on him. Haha. -ha. It's shutting down. That was easy. You need to get out of there. I'm coming. Use the stuff. Yeah, I figured, sorry. Talk to Sort the Sill. <gasps> Long time no see, my friend. A sea slowed. Interesting. I haven't dissected such a specimen in an exceedingly long unit of temporal measurement. Uh, where's Valsarim and the Right Master? Valsarim took the Right Master to Kapora Tower to administer to his wounds. Luckily for you, I arrived in time to help Valsarim open a path out of the Sloth's dying mine. What did you learn before the mindscape collapsed? Uh, Katara made a deal with the Daedric Prince and altered the Right Master's memories. Yes, I surmised as much. The triad of Daedric Princes has become bold in its attempts to influence Nern, though influence seems to be the least of their goals. The Slode, however, was unable to harvest whatever memory it sought from the Right Master. Katara wanted to learn where the Right Master hid something called the Heart of Transparent Law? That revelation disturbs me. Uh-oh. I feared the Crystal Tower was too tempting a target for the Daedric Triad. I need to ponder the full implications of their plot. Meanwhile, I suggest you go to Kapura Tower and see how the Right Master is faring. Will do, Sothasil. Take care, my friend. That was insane. Oh. I hope there's an easy way out of here. Cargo entrance. So many doors. Upper ruins. Oh, that's it. Arteum. That's not Arteum. I never thought to lay eyes on this place. Ha! Huh. Well, luckily we are at the entrance. The music turned all heroic and everything, and I don't even know what I, dude. We're like far from knowing exactly what's going on. Well, that bastion looked pretty cool, but also I have no idea where he came from. Let's ride. I'll get there eventually. I promise. You know, I've never actually paid attention to this. It actually looks really cool. I like. I like a lot. Portal to Kapora Tower. Okay. That was unintentional, but it's okay. I hope the right master's okay. I hope he doesn't die, because sometimes As you wish, they die. Master. I shall travel to Lilandril immediately. Okay, I and guess I'll she's send word to the eye of the queen. Okay. I owe you a debt of gratitude, friend of Valserin. What the two of you did to help me, that was a step beyond. Thank you. And it seems you accomplished what I failed to do. You ended the threat of Katora. I did. It was very easy, actually. Uh, I saw Katora's memories, uh, but I'm not, told, I'm not totally clear on what happened to you specifically. Katora tricked me in the past. Made me remember a victory I never won. Then he planted a compulsion. Forced me to steal the heart of transparent law from the crystal tower. Apparently I hid it and forgot about it. He sought that memory. 
Oh, that explains it all. That is interesting for sure. What's the significance of the heart of uh, transparent law? The crystal tower stands as a mystical protection for Somerset. Transparent law, a crystal at the top of the tower, serves as its source of power. With the heart removed from the crystal, the protection provided by the tower slowly weakens. So the heart is part of a larger crystal? Yes. A smaller gem that had been embedded in the larger crystal. If the Daedric princes acquire the heart, they could take control of the crystal tower. Valserin and Oriandra will warn Somerset, while I try to remember where I hid the heart. Is there anything I could do to help restore your missing memories? You helped me remember my true encounter with Katora and his abyssal cabal. I remember how they defeated me 300 years ago, compelled me to do their bidding, made me forget. For now, I need solitude to seek the memories that still elude me. Will do. Perhaps the Sigic Sages can help me remember where I hid the heart of transparent law. At least you stopped Katora before the sea slowed gained that knowledge. In the meantime, we must warn the Sapiarchs of the threat to the Crystal Tower. I mean, I don't disagree. Who are the Sapiarchs? The Sapiarchs are Somerset's foremost scholars. They are the keepers of the Crystal Tower and the custodians of the College of Sapiarchs. Among their many responsibilities, they have trained every heir who ever sat upon Eleanor's throne. Do you need me to warn the Sapiarchs? I sent Valserin to Lalandral, where the College of Sapiarchs is located to scout the area and see if the Court of Bedlam has made any moves against them. I need you to travel to Alinor to secure the Proxy Queen's permission to enter the college. Okay, I'll go to Alinor immediately then. My actions have weakened the Crystal Tower and endangered Somerset. I hate to think what else that foul creature forced me to do with its powerful mind magic. Forgive my musings. I'll send word to Alinor so that the Proxy Queen knows to expect you. Does the Proxy Queen know who you are? While we have never been formally introduced, the Proxy Queen is quite familiar with the reputation of the Sigic Order and its Right Master. She will adhere to the ancient dictates and provide the assistance we need in this matter. Okay, so basically Katara has been controlling your actions for all of these years. No, I doubt Katara's magic could reach to Arteum once I removed it from the world. I think that's why I hid the island. A sort of preservation instinct. If not for the Abyssal Pearl, Katora would never have been able to exert its influence again. Wow. Where did you send Valserum and or you? I sent Valserum to Lalandral to scout the area around the College of Sapiarchs. She'll meet you there once you get the Proxy Queen's permission. As for Oriandra, I sent her to warn Razumdar, the Eye of the Queen. He needs to be informed. Okay, and who's the Proxy Queen? Queen Iren's regent while she's away. Proxy Queen Alwyn Arwe oversees the governance of Somerset from the Royal Palace in Alinor. I've never met her, but all reports indicate she's fair, if a bit set in her ways. Mm, tell me more about the Sapiarchs. The Sapiarchs are the sages of Somerset, a college of scholars and teachers showcasing the finest minds in Ultima society. Each Sapiarch is devoted to a single area of expertise, and together, they maintain our age's greatest collection of knowledge. And what do the Sapiarchs have to do uh, with the Crystal Tower? The Sapiarchs serve as the curators of the Crystal Tower. A pair of Sapiarchs, called the Tower Sentinels, protect the two keys needed to open the way into the tower. We'll need their help eventually. First, though, the Proxy Queen. Yeah, of course. Uh, why is the Crystal Tower so important? The Crystal Tower is a manifestation of ancient and powerful magic, as well as a symbol for the Ultima. Its presence protects Somerset. The Sea Slode used me to weaken that protection, making their invasion possible. Beyond that, there are rumors. What kind of rumors? <clears throat> the kind that make me wary of allowing either the Sea Slode or the Daedric Princes to possess its power. Legends say that the Crystal Tower exists in every planar realm at the same time. It literally connects every reality. Interesting. Goodbye, my friend. I guess it's time...
to go to the Eleanor Royal Palace. Excuse me. Coming through. Can I just fast... Can I just fast travel there? Wait, hold on. Where is it exactly? So, of course. Somerset. I don't even know why I needed to look at it. It's... It's where this DLC takes place. So let's uh just do it this way. There we go. That's probably the fastest thing I could have done because it would have probably made me go to the portal and then from the portal I would have to go all the way on horseback where I could just fast travel directly to the uh, Eleanor itself. Okay. So it's this way? No. Hmm. Eleanor is a beautiful place, but it's kind of confusing. I have no idea how to get there. So that goes down. Oh, it's way... Okay, so I was going the right way, but it goes all the way around. I'm going to have to keep looking at the map because this is low-key a little confusing. Okay, I think I figured it out, though. Cause this just goes all the way around it looks like. Let me see. <clears throat> ha ha! Oh my god, the palace looks amazing from this angle. I love it. I don't know why they were screaming, but... Something tells me this is not going to go according to plan. Or maybe it will. I don't know. But we'll see. Talk to the proxy queen. Hello. We grow accustomed to the influx of visitors to our blessed isle. Though your increasing numbers remain a source of concern to our nobles. We, however, find the many non altma faces to be interesting. What business brings you to the palace? I'm glad to see that she's open-minded. Um, the right master of the Sigic Order sent me to get your permission to enter the College of Sapiarchs. <laughs> the Sigic Order? We have not heard a word from that August body in a star's age, and then word arrives that we should expect a visitor. Why would we grant access to the Sapiarchs' private compound? Speak true if you want our aid in this matter. Well, my queen, proxy queen... The Crystal Tower is in danger, unfortunately. The Right Master sent me to warn the Sapiarchs. This involved the business that Razendar was telling us about. The Queen's cat claimed he had eyes in the Sigic Order, but we assumed that was more of his braggadocio. <laughs> Very well. We'll send word to Lelandro that you may cross to the college. Nice! Is there anything I should know about the College of Sapiarchs? The newcomer wants us to blather on about the many wonders of the Blessed Isle. Why, by all means. Let us sing the praises <clears throat> of the Sapiarchs, reveal a recipe for an autumn delicacy, and select the best House of Reveries performance for you to attend. I'm getting the sense I may have offended you in some way. Indeed. Perhaps you aren't as dull as we first presumed. <laughs> My queen has asked that we welcome you, so we shall tell you that the Sapiarchs are our teachers. The compound in the Landrill serves as the seat of their prestigious college. Uh, well, I'll travel to Landrill immediately. And we shall alert the portal master to accommodate you. Once inside, seek out Lana Teal, Sapiarch of Archaeology. She leads the college and should hear the right master's warning. There, we have done our deed for the day. Thank you. She's, she's nice, kind of. Even though she might not like us. But it's okay. Not really worried about it. At least we got permission to enter. Uh how can the Rigard negotiate peace if stupid high elves won't talk? He scared me. Where am I going? I can't find the Oh there it is. Will I die if I jump off? One way to find out. Holy cr I'm gonna die. I did not die. That was, uh, most definitely a close one. 
I will die if I do another jump, though. So let's not do that right now. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. How far are we going? Where am I? Okay, I'm right here. No, I'm gonna have to cross the ocean. It's okay. I have a. L I am not gonna swim that. It'll take a decade to get through that. Honestly, I'd probably. I will probably die from uh, slaughterfish if I go that way, anyways. So. Maybe. Let's let's do some reconnaissance actually. I might be able to just come in this direction and just jump off and swim. I wonder what that is. Let me grab this real quick. Very nice. Whoops, wrong button. Okay. Well, there is a way shrine just up ahead. Let's go ahead and discover it real quick, and then we'll just, I guess, we'll have to go all the way around. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I don't think it's gonna be that bad though if I'm being completely honest. We have a pretty fast horse, all things considering. But even with our fast horse, it's still going to be somewhat of a while before we get there. There's no point of swimming. Uh oh. Run! There we go. I mean, I think we're golden. We're almost there, I think. No. We've ran halfway through. Okay. It sucks. It does suck that we have to go all the way around, though. There's a way shrine coming up again, so we're definitely going to discover that. Just to avoid this whole situation again. Or in the future, where we have to go all the way around that little cut, you know? Did I just discover it? No, I didn't. Now I did. There we go. Ebenstad Mount Way Shrine. I mean, from here is just a straight shot, basically. We just have to worry about navigating through all this terrain, which is fine, but not fine at the same time. I usually end up dying in these types of situations because I always end up accidentally jumping off a cliff. As you guys saw earlier. I do that a lot, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of dumb when it comes to that kind of stuff. Once your mount gets f uh, like fast enough or whatever, sometimes things just come really quick and then you just end up dying because you fall off the cliff. At least that's the, my experience. I don't know about you guys, but I'm notorious at jumping off cliffs on accident. Hey, there's a way shrine right here. Whoops, I did not want to get off my mount, even though I'm already here. Lilandril. Let me make sure it's discovered. It is. <clears throat> that could not be more perfect. Honestly, I think she plans to do something rash. Shut up. Even attack the guard. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get there. These, again, I, I'm gonna say it again. These uh, Altimer locations are beautiful. They're just kind of confusing to navigate through. Hi, Val. I've checked over Lilandril from top to bottom, and there's no sign of the Court of Bedlam. I can't get the Portal Master to let me go to the College Compound, though. Have you brought permission from the Proxy Queen? I did, as a matter of fact. The Proxy Queen, uh, Proxy Queen promised she'd sent word to grant us access to the College of Sapiarchs. Good, good. I was about to turn that insignificant book dust into something small, wet, and slimy. 
could have made matters worse, but it might have brightened the dark mood I've been in. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to burden you with my troubles. Is there anything I can help you with? No. The mission is more important than personal matters. I'm sure Lathan will turn up eventually. Who's that? In the meantime, you should talk to the portal master and see if she's ready to grant us access to the college. Tell me about Lathan. Lathan and I met when we were initiates of the Sigic Order. We fell in love and married, had a daughter. We had all the things we ever wanted. And then everything changed. After we lost our daughter, Lathan grew distant, more subdued. Damn, that sucks. You lost your daughter? It happened ages ago, after a long illness. We lived Damn. on an island filled with the most accomplished sages of our age, and there was nothing that could be done. We tried. I tried. But the illness took her in the end. Lathan was never the same. So Lathan left our Tam? No, it wasn't like that. When the Rite Master first learned of the possible Daedric threat, Lathan volunteered to look into it. We both thought it would be good for Lathan to get away, give him something to occupy his time. Then he disappeared. What do you mean, what, disappeared? Lathan's reports became less frequent. Then he stopped sending them altogether. I'd know if he was dead, but he could be a prisoner or hurt. My main concern right now is the threat posed by the Daedric Princess. Lathan will have to wait. That's crazy. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Not now, please. Oh, I love I this really look. Must prepare for tonight's lecture. Besides, only those with permission may enter the College of Sapiarchs. We can't have just anyone wandering around the compound. I love this look. I need to enter the College of Sapiarchs. The Proxy Queen said uh, she would send word. So you're the luminary the Proxy Queen wants me to treat with kid gloves. And I suppose the arrogant Sigic is with you? <laughs> oh, very well. Let's get this over with. Yeah, she doesn't like me. <laughs> or us. Uh, how do we get this, uh, to the Sapiarchs compound? The compound has been purposely isolated to serve as a sanctuary and place of study. Research and scholarship require solitude and quiet, after all. We use magic to travel back and forth. I'll prepare the portal dais when you're ready to cross. I'm ready to go to the college now. Ooh. Just so follow me and step onto the dais. So it's just a porter that just leads you to the other side then. Yeah, okay, that's that's all it does. Got it, tracking. By the seven sacred texts. Who has dared invade this place of learning? I've got this. You talk to that sapiarch. This is unheard of. Attacked in our own sanctuary. Holy crap, that was That's crazy. This is terrible. Damn, Please he looks excuse cool. my present state, as I am distraught beyond all rational thought. I never imagined that Daedra would attack our compound. It's madness. Forgive my lapse in protocol. I am Elamil, Sapiarch of Daedric Fallacies. Fallacies? Tell me what happened here. Happened? Oh, it isn't over yet. There was no warning. Daedra filled the compound. So many great minds cut down. We were able to clear the courtyard, but there's more inside. I fear for the safety of the head sapiarch and our other sages. Well, that's what I'm here for. I mean, I guess I'm late. I came to warn you about the Crystal Tower. The Crystal Tower? You need to speak to Lana Teal, sapiarch of Arcanology and head of our college. She's trapped inside with those monsters. Of course she is. I suggest you enter through the labyrinth beneath the compound. Just watch out for the Daedra. I don't have to watch out, man. If they come and attack me, they're... Mmm. Dunzo. I'll enter the labyrinth and find the Sapiarch lamp. Her. According to the maps I studied, the labyrinth is this way. Well, then let's go. Will do. Good idea. Perhaps I should accompany you. He's terrified.
There he goes. You know he's scared, man. That's the only reason I have... I don't know. If it was me, I would have literally went back and fought. It's just me, though. Before anybody says anything, I have experienced combat in the army, so... I personally know what I would and wouldn't do. Because I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, You've never even been in combat. You don't know what you would do unless you were in that situation. I have been in those situations before, and... I would go back and fight, trust me. There's more to this than a simple daydream incursion. I felt a strange sensation when we arrived. A sense of urgency. <clears throat> we need to hurry and find the trapped Sapiox. Do you often get the uh, sen get sensations like this? Sometimes. Probably has something to do with living on a displaced island and being part of the Sigic Order. Perhaps. We knew the three Daedric Princes were a threat. But this is our first clear evidence of their hostile intent. Uh, do you think the Sapiarchs are still alive? Even scholars have ways to defend themselves. Which reminds me. I can protect myself, but I'm not much good in a raging battle. I'll try to stay behind you and keep out of the way. Now, let's hurry and go save the Sapiarchs. I agree. Yeah, there's no way I would ever let my brothers and sisters just die, you know? Ah! She's helping me. By the stars, this place is enormous. It is. Um. Okay, so it's this way. This place isn't just enormous, it's also confusing. Whoops. Bam. Sit down, sit down. I hate it when he just rolls out of nowhere. See? Like that. What are you talking about, Bastion? Nothing's easy in this world. You know, I rarely use my ultimates. I gotta start using them more often. Bam! I don't have to f fight them. I almost did. Okay, I gotta look at the map again. Okay, yeah, we're going the right way. That's cruel and wasteful. What's cruel and wasteful, Bastion? I have no idea what you're talking about, my I'd friend. I'd like to explore this compound one day, when fewer Daedra are about, of course. I mean, we're probably gonna need to get permission for that again. No Bam! Let's kill this guy, or these guys, before those two fat boys come over here. Dude, she is... she is cool. Bastion, I'm way ahead of you, my friend. Leave me alone. Let me look at the map. Okay, so it's this way. Oh! Haha! <laughs> I am victorious once again. Ooh, look at this big boy. I think I have discovered the way. College of Sapiarchs. Find Sapiarch. Oh, this is where she's at. Of course. Of course I can't just go through here. Of course, because that would be too easy. Oh my god. I wanted to hit the Ogrim, not the... Uh... 
I don't think I have a choice but to attack. Oblivion, take you. I love that they freeze. That Psychic Order move, by the way, is really good. I actually used it on my Templar tank as a as a CC. It's really good, but I don't know if it's good for a tank. It's. I think it's just okay. <gasps> I sense this way. Yep. Get. Oh my God! It took forever to use that. That's the second time you said that, Val. Did she already go through the door? I think she already went through the door. Let me loot this guy just in case he has anything interesting. And of course, he doesn't just Daedra uh, Husk. Okay, it is what it is. They never want to give me anything. No more sages need die today, save the Ark. Just give me the diamond keys. The Resolute Diamonds are not mine to give. Especially not to a Daedra cultist. Nathan, stop! Valserin, no, damn you! What? What is going on? Ooh, look, the last apiarchs. You and your companion arrived in the proverbial nick of time. Now, if you wouldn't mind, who in oblivion are you? And how did you know the College of Sapiarchs was under assault? Uh, actually, the right master of the Sigic Order sent us to warn you. The Crystal Tower has been compromised. First, the cultist leads an army of Daedra into our compound and demands I turn over the Resolute Diamonds. Now, you arrive with a warning from the long-absent sages of Arteum. I think you need to explain yourself before we go any further. First of all, can you look at me and not over my shoulder? That's kind of creepy. But okay, three Daedric princes worked with the sea slodes to steal the heart of transparent law. That's impossible. It's not. It's we happening. We would know if the tower's defenses had been breached. But it would explain the disasters currently befalling the Somerset Isle. Let's say I believe you. What does the right master suggest as the next step? The right master is trying to locate the heart. We need to keep the Daedric princes out of the tower. A reasonable plan, but access to the tower requires the Resolute Diamonds, which are guarded by the tower's sentinels. Only they can use the keys. I suppose they are the next targets. We need to warn Hanail and Imadril at the Illumination Academy. I can go warn the tower sentinels. We appreciate your aid in this matter. Before you head to the Illumination Academy, perhaps you can have your friend get that cultist out of my compound as it is it's going to take weeks to get rid of the stench of daedra yeah for sure tell me more about the tower sentinels every 11 years two sapiarchs are selected to undergo a long and extensive ritual to attune them to the resolute diamonds the keys that open the crystal tower these sentinels guard the diamonds and utilize them to grant access to the tower and no one can use the diamonds? The Azure Diamonds are a matched set, specifically attuned to a pair of Sapiarchs at any given time. Only an attuned Sentinel can use a diamond key, and both keys are required to open the path into the tower. Then why does the Daedra Cultist want the diamonds? Who can say how much the Cultist actually knows about the diamonds and their function? The Daedric Prince he serves, however, has magic enough to utilize the diamonds. That's why we must make sure the sentinels are safe and out of harm's way. No, yeah, I agree. Tell me more about these two. In addition to their sentinel duties, Hanayal <clears throat> and Imadril also serve as scholars in the College of Sapiarchs. They have research to conduct, lectures to give. For their own protection, however, their identities as sentinels are known only to a few. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. They're superheroes. Uh, being a tower sentinel is a secret? That's our standard practice. Difficult times call for desperate measures, however. You need to know who they are so you can find them and return them to our compound. Hanail needed to use the academy library. Imadril accompanied her. 
Okay, goodbye. Uh, let's talk to the, him Do first. That. Tell my darling wife to release me, and I'll ask Mathala to kill you quickly when the new age dawns. Oh my god, that's right. That's her husband that left. That explains everything. Your Val's husband? Why do you serve the Daedra now? Spinner saved me from fools and altruistic adventurers. Valserin turned her back on me and my daughter a long time ago. Is it any wonder I've found acceptance and a purpose among the court of Bedlam? So you betrayed the Sigic Order? Don't presume to judge my actions, you insignificant flea. <laughs> I am an earl in the court of Bedlam now. Chosen personally by Mathala to represent her on this all too fragile world. Leave me. I'm done speaking to you now. Yeah, okay, goodbye, loser. Sorry, Let's Earl. These to their work. I can't believe I was concerned about the welfare of my husband. To find Lathan here, threatening the Sapiox and leading a horde of Daedra. How could he betray the Order like that? How could he betray me? No, I get it. I get it. I understand. What did you do to Lathan? A simple spell of binding. His attention was so focused on the Sapiox, he wasn't prepared to deal with another Sigic mage. While you go and find the Tower Sentinels at the Illumination Academy, I'll take Lathan back to Arteum. Good. Uh, you won't have any trouble getting him back to the Sigic Order? I almost hope he gives me a little trouble. <laughs> I could use a reason to unleash some pain and suffering on this... this... turncoat. Don't worry. My spell will hold until we reach the confines of Kapora Tower. Goodbye. My god, she is feisty. I love it. Wait, is it back this way? It, it most definitely is. Come on, Bastion. We gotta warn two guardian sapiarchs. What are they called again? Oh my god, I have to fight this loser again? Fair enough. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Yeah, I lagged hardcore. I don't even know what happened. Get out of my way. Shut up. I'm on a mission here. I must get to... The... Sap the two Sapiarch people. Are they just Sapiarchs? Are they the- I don't- I don't know, I'm- I'm kinda confused at the- Oh sh- Holy crap, I almost- I almost died. Maybe being on a horse is not a good idea going down these stairs. And yet I'm still on it. So where's- Where exactly is it that I'm going? It's not here. You know what? I'm going to take the Way Shrine because the Way Shrine will definitely be the fastest way there. Ha! Uh, oh, she was not expecting a large drop like that. Luckily, I landed on a tent that saved my life. I guess tents save lives. Um, I think it was this one. No, it was this one. <clears throat> I was confused. The Illumination Academy. I really like. Hail, mighty warrior! Not interested at the moment. Sorry. Ooh, let's get some Bastion rapport and some Rakuda. Okay, so we're here. Attention! Shut up. Class is now in session. Is he trying to teach some chickens? Oh, Raz. You always arrive just when Raz needs you most. It's always interesting that he always knows exactly where we are. After Raz spoke to the pretty Sigic Oriandra, whispers reached me about the illustrious Illumination Academy. They said that the court of Bedlam hunts a sapiarch there, 
so Raz had to come and see. Didn't expect all the crazy people, though. <laughs> a hunted sapiarch? That must be one of the tower, sen oh, tower sentinels. That's what it was. I came here to find them. So the crystal tower really is in danger. This one finds that so hard to believe. The crystal tower. It's a bastion. A symbol of everything the high elves hold dear. The queen would be very cross with Raz if anything bad happened to the tower. Uh, there are two sapiarchs. They guard the diamond keys and they can open the crystal tower. Now Raz sees why the court of Bedlam seeks these particular sages. Very well. No need to twist this one's tail. Raz will help you save the Sapiarchs from the demented Daedric cultists. <laughs> Let's look in the guest wing on the west side of the compound. Lead the way, my friend. This way. Follow Raz. I am. I am following you. And you're also really slow, my friend. These seas may be treacherous, but fear not. Even the ocean winds quail at the sight of Captain Whale Shark. Captain Whale Shark? I have no idea what she's talking about. She's going on about some weird stuff. Hey, you. New arrivals? Sorry, they usually <coughs> let me know when new academics are going to arrive. I'm sure I can find a way to squeeze you in someplace. How long do you plan on staying? Indefinitely. I'm just kidding. No, I'm looking for a couple of sapiarchs. These two people. Are they here at the academy? Sure. They arrived a few days ago. But only Sapiarch Hanayel stayed. She's working on a book of some sort. I think that's what she told me. Don't know where the other one scampered off to. She hasn't been back to her room in quite a while, though. Uh, do you think she left the academy compound? Wouldn't think so. She left all her things in her room. Uh-oh. Notes, valuable tomes. Not the sorts of items a sage would leave behind. Maybe she just got caught up in the nonsense outside. You can examine her room if you like. It's right over there. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Well, that's very convenient. <laughs> it's literally right here. Oh my god, it's a tiny room. Letter to Imadril. Oh, I hate reading these letters. Uh, I think your decision to leave the academy and go to the ancient ruins was the right call. Something isn't right here, though I can't. I can never read this writing. Uh, though quite determine what that may be. I prefer to disappear into the academy books for days on, and I expect to send a great deal of time hiding in the library's quiet study room. I feel so much safer within its comfortable. Uh, confess. Let me tell you how I plan to organize my research. I'll start by reviewing Tellinger's musings about the slowed. The last time we met for dinner, he seemed to put off that I could not recall every line of his writing. Second, I'm thinking of rereading the Imperial Geographical Society's Tedis on the Sea Elves. The Academy's library is really quite extensive. Third, I've been... Um, you guys can go ahead and read this. <laughs> it gives me a headache trying to read that. Oh, Roz. Scared me. The Sapiarch's letter. She's hidden a coded message in the words. Oh, crap. I've seen this done before. A code? Can you figure it out? Hanael mentions something isn't right here. That she plans to hide in a quiet room. Very smart. It seems the Sapiarch knows that someone is hunting her. The list of specific books in a specific order, though. That's the key, Raz thinks. So we need to find the books Haniel mentioned. We need to find the books and the podiums. If Raz has deciphered the meaning of her code correctly, let's hope we can find her before the court of Bedlam does. A cultist led a Daedric assault on the College of Sapiarchs. That's where I was before coming here. That is disturbing news. It was. The Queen hates Daedric machinations, especially the most overt ones. Let us hurry and try to find the Sapiarch. Will do. Can I please go through the door, please? Thank you.
Okay. So, where to first? We have to find the quiet room. This should be pretty interesting. I don't like deciphering codes or anything like that. Okay, so I think I already found it, actually. The study hall. <coughs> um... So I can't even go through there. Wait, there's something outside. Did I miss a few things outside? It looks like I did. Oh, this is the books. Okay, the bookshelf. Wait, was I so? Oh, there's something else in here. Meomers, the Meomers of Pan, Pian Do. Sure. You guys can go ahead and read that. If you guys want to read it, we'll go ahead and push pause. There you go. And then there's another book over here. The Year 2920 Volume 4. Same thing with this. If you guys want to read it, go ahead and push pause. I'll leave it on for a second. The Imperial City of Cyrodiil. Hmm, I'm interested in that. Same thing with this one. And that one. Okay. So now... Oh, there's... Did I read this one already? I don't think I read this one already. So go ahead and push pause if you guys want to read this one. Okay. So that should be everything, right? It appears to be so. So we should hopefully have the password, maybe? I have no idea what's going on. Uh... Let's... Oh, that's why I'm in the wrong location, I think. There it is. You guys can go ahead and push pause on that. And that. And that, if you guys want to read it. There we go. Oh my god, more quest markers. But that seemed to have sparked something because Raz is now going inside the build or the room. So, place... Oh, God. I'm gonna play... Have to play the guessing game. Uh... I guess we'll start... Did that... Did that not work? Uh... So I think I guessed two right. I don't think I guessed the first one right. Oops. I meant to put the 2924 because that's the one that I put on the first one. So that means this one should be the right one. A vanishing bookcase. Oh. Raz likes these clever say. I me too. My illusion spell. Who who are you? Hey, Sapiark. If Oh, I love the way that looks. That's been following me. I warn you. I'll, I'll scream. Don't worry. You can relax. You can relax. Sapiark, uh, Lenart has sent me to find you, and the other Tower Sentinel. I knew I wasn't imagining things. I told Imadril that we were being followed. If the head of the College of Sapiark sent you and told you we got it, the Resolute Diamond, it must be a serious matter. Something involving the other alliances. Daedric Princess, actually. Where can I find Imadril? Daedric Princess, you say? As in more than one? That doesn't sound very good. Not at all. Imadril went to King's Haven, not too far from here. The old ruins. He loves to poke around in that place every chance he gets. But I'm still a bit confused. I'll go to King's Haven and check on the Sapiark. Uh, Raz will explain things to the pretty Sapiark and <laughs> make sure she returns safely to Lilandril. I really will find the one in the ruins. I will. I really like her outfit, man. These Sapiark outfits are sick. It's kind of funny though because I'm wearing the Sapiark hel the medium helmet right now. I think it's so cool. I really like that style, man. Gorgeous, actually. All right. 
So we are going where exactly? Oh, literally, it's actually a uh, delve. Let's go ahead and take care of it. Ooh, more Bastion rapport. Gloom Gray Shield. Very nice. And we're here. Come on, Bastion. Why did he get on his knees to get inside of a building with a door? I'm not going to do the quest right now. But I think I do have to go in this direction. Come on, you filthy. You're no goblin. Can I ride my horse here? Yes, I can. This place kind of looks a little confusing. Also, I need to be careful before I- Oh! I was about to say, before I fall off, and I almost did. Um. Ow. Bastion, take care of my lightweight already. I can't reach him from here. Well, I'll fight this guy. Am I even going the right way? Honestly, I have no clue whatsoever. Well, the answer is no. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna run. So I think I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, that guy's got that dwarven mount from scrying. Oh, there it is. Find the King Haven's past ruins. The Sapiarch is brave for coming here. Uh oh. Scared me for a second. He came out of nowhere. Okay, let me see. So, actually, I do want to get this sky shard while I'm... Actually, it's up above. Can I... Can I get to it? I should be able to. I don't care if they're chasing me. I'll, I'll attack them here in a second. Are there bad guys here? Excellent. These guys can't kill me anyways. They're chump change. Well, that guy's gone. Shut up. That's not what I wanted to do. Give me the sky shard, damn it. All right, let me see. So I have to go back down. Is the this place is rather hard to navigate without a map. Oh that werewolf scared me. I right, should be here. Let me take the wide road to hopefully avoid combat. And we did. That's a good thing. Um okay, left. Oh stupid spiders. Get out of here. I definitely didn't push that button, by the way. How many freaking spiders are- I hate spiders so much. I'm one of those arachnophobics. Haha! -ha. What's his name? Kitas the Weaver. Well, Kitas the Weaver, prepare to be you weaved. Won't get past my splendid wedge, mortal. Shut up. Cake. The mistress has already claimed her prize. The day is ours. I don't like the way she said that. She said that the Daedric Prince has already claimed the prize. Don't let it take me! No worries, I've got you. <gasps> I think. You there! Burn the webs! Quickly! Quickly! It's the Golden Knight! Is that Mafala's webs? Oh my god! Mafala's damn webbing. It's in all my nooks and crannies. Thanks for helping, though. You better get a. 
never mind. Why did I see that coming? The Dawnstar Gem? The spider poison. It's spreading fast. Take this. Resolute diamond. Don't let the Golden Knight's sacrifice be in vain. He's not gonna die, is he? I'll protect the diamond. Sapiar send, <laughs> send me to find you. And hand me all the safe. Then you know we're tower sentinels. Guardians of the diamond keys that open the crystal tower. I do. Please, make sure my diamond remains safe. What happened to the Golden Knight? My father, Prince of the Secret Arts. She sought my diamond, but also seemed very interested in the Golden Knight. I fear she's taken him to the spiral skein. Rest easy, Tower Sentinel. Uh, tell her now. I'm sorry. Oh, no. That's horrible. She's going to be sad. <gasps> ah, there you are. Hi. The right must to need you back in Artean immediately. Find him in Kapora Tower as soon as you can. Okay, pal. I'll go over there as soon as possible. Can I? Do, uh, okay. I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I'm so confused right now. So it's this way. I'm gonna try to avoid combat. I'm just gonna run. And then whatever's chasing me at the end. I'll fight. <clears throat> okay. Also, gotta keep some heals at least, because all that poison's gonna destroy me if I don't. Okay, that's it. Bastion, assist me! Nice. Is that everybody? I really want to know what's going on with that Golden Knight, man. The Golden Knight is what's most interesting to me right now. If I'm being completely honest. Well, I mean everything. This is a very interesting storyline. It's actually a, one of the better ones, I think. The only thing about it is... It's... The main things... And this, this is, I think, good storytelling. But the main things I want to know about... They're kind of giving me in a cliffhanger and slowly trickling some information here and there but never enough to keep me satisfied so it's like it keeps me wanting more you know what if I'm not well wait a minute there's a waste right here so it's, I think it's good storytelling in my opinion Artem very nice Uh, where am I going? Oh, was it that way? I thought it was over here. Okay, I guess not. Let's go. Knock, knock. I'm back. Somebody ring? Anybody want to talk to me? Thank you for returning so promptly. Before we get to other matters, tell me about your search for the Tower Sentinels. Valserin recounted the events at the College of Sapiox after she returned with Lathan. But I'm eager to hear your report. Why don't you trust her? One of the Sentinel Sentinels is under the protection of Rosalind Dar. Uh, the other one was slain by Mephala. Mephala, curse her name. Along with her cohorts, Clavic is vile and nocturnal. She corrupted Lathan and threatens all of Nern. But the Sapiarchs no longer have an attuned pair of key bearers. That will make it harder to access the Crystal Tower. Mephala dragged the Golden Knight into her realm after he dropped this gem. That Golden Knight is one of Meridia's champions, I believe. It seems that one Daedric Prince is trying to help us. That gem is the Dawnstar, from the Dawnbreaker Sword. 
Why take the knight prisoner, though? What are the princes playing at here? I don't know, but I really want to know more about that golden knight. Yes, you said it'll be harder to access the crystal tower now? Hmm? For uh, us? Yes. Without two attuned tower sentinels, the Sapiarchs can't use the diamond keys to open the way to the crystal tower. The attuning process usually takes a year and a day, and I have no idea if they can hasten the process. Remind me who's Meridia again, even though we know clearly who it is. Meridia is the Daedric Prince of Life and Light, and the Matron of the Colored Rooms. She isn't part of the Triad of Princes. Indeed, it seems that she has specifically sent her champion to oppose them. We'll need to keep that in mind as we proceed. Well, let's talk about the matter uh, you summoned me here to discuss. It involves my missing memories. I've recalled an important detail and I need to show it to you. For now, let me compensate you for your efforts so far. I appreciate your help in all this. Well, thank you. Uh, hold on. What is it? It's uh, after dealing direct damage, you gain minor force uh, and minor expedition for 10 seconds, increasing the critical damage done by 10% increasing your movement speed by 15%. That's okay. While you were gone, I have been scrying through my own memories, trying to find the missing events that will remind me where I hid the heart of transparent law. I believe I have discovered something significant. Yeah? You remember where you hid the heart of transparent law? Not exactly. While scrying through my memories, I saw half-formed thoughts and splintered recollections. I saw myself enter the dreaming cave beneath Kapora Tower, and I held the heart of transparent law in my hands. Tell me everything you remember. I opened a portal, but I can't recall where it went. Something intentionally blocked the destination from my sight. I entered the portal, and time passed. Then I was back in the cave, and the heart was gone. Will you accompany me to the Dreaming Cave? Yeah, I'll meet you in the Dreaming Cave. The answer to where I hid the heart of transparent law resides in the Dreaming Cave. Or, more precisely, through the portal I opened and once traversed. But therein lies the problem. It's best if I showed you. Meet me in the cave beneath this tower. Will do. Tell me more about uh, tell me more about the Dreaming Cave. The Dreaming <coughs> Cave lies beneath Kapora Tower, where the various threads of magicka and other energies come together and pool like water running down a chain. Trained Sigics can use that energy to open portals to anywhere in Oblivion and beyond. Oh, that's cool. So you open a portal to an Oblivion realm? Perhaps. I honestly can't remember. If not for the success of my scrying spell, even this minor memory would still elude me. There's more to explain, but words fail me. I'll show you what I mean when we go down to the Dreaming Cave. You know, all this is amazing because the Sigics are pretty powerful mages, you know? The fact that he, the head of the Sigics, is getting overwhelmed by an outside magical force is pretty fascinating. Uh, what was that projection you were looking at? It's literally himself. Just the result of my scrying spell. It allowed me to project images from my mind for further study. To look for details my memory alone may have missed. I watched one particular sequence over and over. The one where I took the heart into the cave. That's how you remembered using the dreaming cave uh, to hide the heart? As I explained, the scrying allowed me to see myself take the heart into the dreaming cave. To watch as I opened a portal and stepped inside. Then the image faltered and skipped a beat. It ended with me back in the cave, but the heart was gone. That is interesting. Where's Valserin now? Valserin refuses to leave Lathan's side. She's trying to get him to explain how he could forsake our order and pledge himself to a Daedric Prince. I hope she can see her way through this. We're going to need her before all is said and done. What happened between Valserin and Lathan? That's not my tale to tell. They both rose through the ranks of our order together, fell in love, had a child. The rest, well, that's personal. Yeah, she told me. I still find it difficult to believe that the Lathan I know could betray us. For real. All right, my friend, I'll meet you at the cave then. Let's go.